Hey, welcome back. We are in Chapter 12 of our textbook, Adobe Illustrator, Creative Cloud Revealed by Chris Botello, and we're working on symbols in this chapter. <clears throat> We've created symbols. Now we're going to edit a symbol. So we're going to go back into our Symbols panel, and we're going to select the Chairlift symbol, and we are going to edit this symbol. All right, so we are going to, um, um, let's see, double click on it. And of course, since I can't double click, I have to work on a workaround. So I'll be back in just a second. Okay, I'm back. Um, we are going to uh, get the symbol. And for me, um, you're going to double click on it and that will um, bring up the options that you need. However, I'm going to go up underneath the drop down menu, which you can as well, um, and do the edit symbol selection. And that automatically puts you in isolation mode. And we are going to get the direct selection tool. We're going to select that symbol. And we are going to um, change the fill color to yellow on this. So we're hopefully going to have this selected. There's the orange fill color. And we're going to change this to yellow. We're going to press Escape or get the Selection tool and click off to um, exit the isolation mode and you'll see how cool is that all instances of the chairlift symbol have been updated with a yellow fill and that's what your <clears throat> your um, illustration look like should look like either figure nine in your textbook or like mine on the artboard and I'll move these out of the way so you can see and we want to do a command or control s to save out our work And now in this le um, lesson, we're going to modify both the symbol instances and the symbols themselves. Make sure that I'm not missing one of the lessons here. All right, now in this we are going to edit a symbol instance. Um, if, for example, you don't want to update the entire symbol, but you want to take one symbol and edit it, make it a little bit different from the rest, for example, um, we can do that. And so we are going to um, go into our artboard, get our selection tool, and we're going to select the green novice symbol instance in the lower left hand corner of the artboard. A bounding box identifies the selection um, as, the, as each one of these can be selected individually. We're going to go to object on the menu bar. We're going to click expand. And um, in the dialog box, it's going to say, do you want to expand object or fill? If you receive a message indicating you're about to edit the symbol definition, any edits to the symbol will be applied to all instances. Do you want to continue? Click OK. I did not get that message. At least I didn't get it yet. All right, and in the expand dialog box, verify that the object checkbox is checked and the fill color box is not checked. So we're going to go back here. We're going to do object expand. You want to verify that the object checkbox is checked, but the fill checkbox is not checked. And then we're going to click OK. 
the elements of the symbol instance are selected individually. So we're going to deselect the sim symbol instance. We're going to get the type tool. We're going to highlight the number sign in this symbol instance. And then we're going to type 1. And your screen should resemble figure 22 or mine on the screen. I'm sorry, figure 12 or mine on the screen. All right, so now using the same method, uh, we're going to expand the novice, intermediate, and expert symbol instances and change their numbers to figure th those like figure 13. And you'll see mine in just a moment. All right, so again, we're going to select the instance. We're going to go up to Object and Expand. We're going to expand only the object. <clears throat> going to get the type tool, select off first, and then we're going to select this number. Whoop. Hmm. All right, sorry, I had to zoom in a bit so I could see the, see myself selecting or the highlighted uh, symbol instance, and we are changing this symbol instance to number five, and then deselect. And then the next symbol that we want to expand is this one. <clears throat> we are, we've got it selected with the selection tool. We're going to go up to object and expand. In the expand dialog box, we only want to expand the object, not the fill. Click OK. And we want to deselect that first, and then we are going to highlight this. I'm going to zoom out a bit so I can get off, make sure that I've got everything deselected that I want to deselect. <clears throat> the type tool, highlight that number, change it to 4, and then deselect it. All right, and I am going to um, have you do the rest of this exercise on your own. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, email me or text me and ask for another demo. Thanks very much.